I've got my helper in the garage with me today. Say hi, Emmett. Hi. Good job. What are you drawing? Um, I'm making some dark. Making some dark. All right. So we're gonna need a couple tools for this job. Let's go to our three eighths here. Find our tin. We mark them all with tape so they're easy to find. Just the tins and no, good cobalt. Not a bad one. All right, so we've got that. This is our new rear finish panel. I know it's hard to see. I'll get you a better shot in just a second. Tools in there. So this is our new panel that was purchased online. It comes in a black ABS plastic and I uh, painted it using a uh, Rust-Oleum uh, automotive enamel and a uh, Rust-Oleum automotive clear coat on there. It's a pretty good finish. It's not perfect, but it's not a perfect car. So it really kind of fits with the overall condition of the car. It's not gonna look out of place. So it's got a couple coats of white, a couple coats of clear, and then I did a uh, hand wet sanding with uh, 2000 and 3000 grit and then we went over it with some uh, Surf City Garage scratch compound and an orange pad. I think it looks pretty good. So I'm not going to be doing a full walkthrough of every step involved and everything that we've got to do to unhook the panel. It's really not that hard. There's four, six, 10 millimeter bolts and uh, a couple of clips in the back and that includes taking the taillights out. Um, plus I've got Biggie in the back there. Uh, distracting me so I'm gonna set you guys up on a tripod do a little time-lapse and I'll see you when the panels taken off all right one part I want to show you guys real quick is very gross behind that tail light. I think this is likely the first time it's ever been taken off. But I also want to show you back in here, kind of hard to make out, but there is some kind of grody mold-ish looking stuff. So we're gonna clean that out before we put that new finish panel back on. I'm gonna go ahead and take the other light off, the finish panel off, and we'll see what kind of nasty stuff lies behind the tag. So I've got the rear panel off. We're gonna come in and take a look. Look how gross all of that is. That is 29 years no. of dirt and crud. No. So no. I'm not a I'm not a big uh, rainstorm. Rainstorm. I'm not big on making sure every you inch of the car are is. Big. Well, you're big. I'm big? Yeah. Well, you're big too. I'm not a big concourse guy and making sure every single inch of the car is perfect, but since we have this off, we might as well. Put it. As you can see, it's coming pretty clean. We'll just use some chemical guys, all-purpose cleaner on it. 
doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to get this grime and stuff out of here and just have a nice clean spot in case there's any uh, fitment issues or anything when we put the new panel on. If you can kind of see into a little area or anything like that, it's just, it just looks a little bit nicer in the car. A tiny bit happier. So I think that's going to be good enough for what we're doing. It is definitely cleaner now. It also gives us a chance to kind of just look at the back of the car and the condition of the structure underneath that finished panel and we can see that it doesn't appear that there's been any accidents or any damage to the rear of the vehicle. All of these old body seam lines and things seem to be pretty normal so that's nice. It's a low mileage car and we didn't think there were any accidents but it's always nice to get some some confirmation on that so I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, put on and we'll put you back into warp speed and talk once it's all done oh 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 nope one more thing I'm going to show you these taillights are factory original taillights so I'm probably going to uh, since we're cleaning up the back of the car I'm just going to go ahead and hit them with a, uh, a polishing compound and maybe give them a, a little coat of sealant just to give them a good shine since we have them off and can clean them easily on the bench why not go ahead and do it okay gang we flash forward to the future where the car is done the tail lights are back on the tag is back on now one thing i did not do oh no you can see my tag number oh no i can't cover it up and i don't care um this is still in uh, put it back in. It's plastic. I don't know who thought that was a good idea, but I'm going to swap that out. And this side is broken off, and I didn't think about taking it out while I had the finish panel off. But the finish panel is so easy to remove, I can just do it at another time. But here's what the car looks like. All done. Nice and clean. There's a little fitment issue right there not surprising in the least considering you don't have a lot of it really any adjustment a uh, little bit right here but all in all for I think $190 plus uh, maybe $12 in paint and my time I like it I'll get the uh, badges off of the off the broken pieces tonight I'll work on getting those off maybe polish them up just a little bit take care of some of the surface scratches and we'll uh, get them put on that bad boy in the next day or so so thank you for watching please uh, like comment uh, tell me if you like it or tell me if you don't like it I really don't care so long as you comment and uh, we'll see you on the next one